my channel. I am Letitia and this is That's So Letitia. And to all of my new viewers, supporters, subscribers, welcome guys. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you enjoy the content. And to all of my returning viewers, supporters, subscribers, welcome back guys. As always, it is a pleasure to see you. Without further ado, let's jump right into this video. As always, first I'm going to prime my face using Fenty Beauty's Pro Filter Mattifying Face Primer. So what I'm going to do for this video is basically um, review a new drugstore blush. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me. I really don't think it is, but I feel like thus far 2024 is really giving us the business with these makeup releases, including drugstore. Like the drugstore beauty brands, I'm, I am impressed. And we are literally only in the first month 21st day of 2024. Drugstore brands are really giving so far. I'm just kind of hoping we can keep up, that our pockets can keep up, and that they keep up because I'm liking where 2024 is going so far in terms of makeup. I feel like it's kind of getting back to the root of things, you know where everything did not have to be super expensive, where it was accessible to everybody because that was the goal back in the day, was to enjoy makeup, you know? Not feel like, am I gonna pay this bill or be able to afford this palette? Or does that come first? Or am I going to buy this lip balm or, you know, what have you? So I'm really liking where we're going thus far for 2024. And now that I have on my primer, I'm going to use Huda Beauty's Faux Filter Color Corrector, and this is in the shade Papaya. This one is great for under eye concealing of dark marks, blemishes, tired under eye, you know, just dark circles. I am liking this. This would be my, I wanna say my third time using it. It's formulated for under the eye. So that is strictly the only place that I use this particular color corrector. I'm going to use Fenty Beauty's color corrector and this is in the shade Pumpkin. And I'm just now using a Sephora blending brush. This one, oh my gosh, it's so old. This was one of the absolute first brushes I purchased when I decided after watching some of the OGs on YouTube, I decided I'm going to do makeup too. I have literally had this brush now for, oh my gosh, I want to say probably since about 2011. This brush has been with me through so many makeup trials and tribulations. And yeah, I can't even like read the number 56. I think that's the number of this brush. So for foundation, I will be using, this is the newest release uh, foundation by Juvia's Place. This one came out last year. But this is still one of my absolute favorites. This is the I Am Magic Natural Radiance Foundation. And the shade that I wear in this one is Burkina. I mean, honestly, Juvia's Place, they get it right. When it comes to complexion products, they get it right. In terms of coverage, like the full on coverage, it's there. Um, Oh my gosh, like you will not so much as see a pore <laughs> using Juvia's Place foundation and you don't have to use that much. And I'm just applying it using, this is a e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. Thank you. 
And for concealers, I will be using several. First one is by Fenty Beauty. This is the Wear Even um, Concealer. This is the newest concealer by Fenty Beauty. And the shade that I'm in, and this one is 410W. I love the tilted applicator. So I'm going to apply that one first. And the reason I'm applying this one first, guys, keep in mind, this one states that it's hydrating. On the under eye area, that is where the thinnest layer of skin on your face is. And a lot of us don't particularly pay attention to it. You know, you think, oh, well, you know, you use concealer, you're good to go. But after applying your foundation, your color corrector, your concealers, and your um, actual setting powders, you are really dehydrating that area. And that's what leads to your makeup cracking, your makeup separating. This particular hydrating concealer, it just helps to keep the under eye rejuvenated up underneath all of those various layers of makeup. So I definitely love that. Um, I've used that concealer a few times and every time it gets better. So I am so grateful that Fenty Beauty decided to bring out a hydrating concealer. This was so genius. This one, I pretty much use like the Huda Beauty um, full filter color corrector. It's pretty much formulated for concerns that I have under the eyes. So that's the only place where I use it. Now to apply concealer in other areas, I'm going to use Drugstore, Juvia's Place, I Am Magic. This is in shade number 11. This one is also a favorite of mine's. Um, you get a lot of product. It lasts. Like the foundation, the coverage is out of this world. And yeah, so I will always have this concealer somewhere in my makeup kit. As long as they continue to make it, you can rest assured you will always see this featured. This is one of those, if it's not broke, don't fix it products. And now moving on to my brows, while the concealer is settling a little bit longer, this is by Danessa Myricks. This is her Defining Neutrals Groundwork Face Palette, 10 shades to textures, pomade, as well as a powder, which is genius because if you use the pomade and you're saying to yourself, well, I'm not that rehearsed in using cream products, what if it starts to settle into, you know, little crevices? How do you set it? Great question. You set it using the same shade powder. So I'm going to use this on my brows and the brush that I'm going to use, this is by Morphe. This is a M165 angled brow brush. And the shade I use for my brows is Bark. It is this dark brown shade here. And now I'm just going to begin blending out the concealers using a damp beauty sponge. And now to set the concealers, I will be using Huda Beauty's Easy Bake Setting Powder. This is the newest shade in Peach Pie. This one I absolutely love. As I stated in a previous video, this one is giving me cherry blossom 
vibes with a little bit more realistic coverage for those of us who are tanned. Um, not to say that there's anything wrong with cherry blossom because it isn't. I love it. I still use it. I just use that one a little bit differently now that I have peach pie. So I use the cherry blossom as more of a brightener and I use the peach pie as my actual setting powder. I just feel like when you apply it on top of your concealer, it melts down so beautifully and it's, it gives you that brightening effect, but not so much that you look stark. You know, when you take photos or whatnot, this, the peach pie shade to me is absolute perfection. And to set my entire face, I'm going to use Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Press Powder, and this is in the shade Chai, which just so happened to be my Too Faced foundation shade, or at least one of them. And I'm going to use another OG Sephora brush of mine's um, to actually apply. Y'all, these Sephora brushes, if they could tell the tail, I mean, this one, like the finish has come off of it. They still do exactly what I need them to do, which is why they are still around. Now this one, the number for this, it's a Pro Airbrush Foundation Brush. I never really use this one for foundation, but the number for this one is 55. And then for bronzer, Drugstore, I Heart Revolution. Um, this is their coffee bronzer in mocha. And now moving on to our shadows. This is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their Fall Romance Palette. I'm going to, of course, take my Morphe M504 brush and I'm going to apply a bit of leather. This shade here, kind of as a transition shade, but not so much. Um, this palette is very specific. It's a good palette, but in terms of like, you know, variety of matte shades, not so much. They all have some sort of like texture to them. I feel like that was pretty much on par with the theme of this palette, which was to be very dramatic and bold, but just kind of playful and romantic at the same time. I'm going to use a different brush. This is by The Makeup Shack, and this brush is in the number T64. I'm going to go in with Crimson, this shade here, and I'm going to apply it to the outer portion of my eye. And did I mention that these shades are extremely pigmented? But you guys, I'm sure you know that already because Anastasia Beverly Hills, their palettes, their pigments, they don't play. They do not skimp on quality, which is the absolute top reason that I love this brand. It's pretty much consistent. There have been a few hit or misses. Um, that's to be expected, nobody is perfect, but for the most part, I absolutely love this brand. 
and their, their pigments. And I'm not so much blending it in as I am patting the shade in. as you need to build up the intensity that you're looking for. And now I'm going to take an even smaller brush. This one is a Morphe M506 going back into crimson. And now I'm going to do the inner corners of my eye, like close to my tear ducts. And I'm just going to concentrate in that area. Okay, so now that we have both eyes blended out, I'm going to take my finger and apply Moonlight, which is this kind of lilac shade here. And we're going to apply that to the middle of our eye. And then moving on to under eye, I'm going to use a black hole eyeliner. This is by Hoss Labs. And this one is actually called Black Onyx and Matte. And then on top of the black coal eyeliner, I'm going to take a little bit of crimson, the shade here, using a smudge brush and just kind of very lightly smoke out the bottom lash line. And since this is a dual sided brush, I'm going to take the opposite end and just kind of diffuse out crimson so that there isn't like a harsh underline there. And I'm going to move on to blush. So as I stated, some drugstore products that are new, um, newly released this year, really have caught my eye. Um, one of those products is the Elf Camo Liquid Blush. I bought two shades. Um, I bought Suave Mauve, which is this mauve shade here. It states this is a high pigmented liquid blush. And let me just swatch it so you guys can see what it looks like. This is the container and it has a rather nice size doe's foot and it's a very pretty shade. I'm finding myself really trying to stop back up on my blushes. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully you can. So that is Suave Mauve. And then I bought the orange shaded blush. Um, this one is Coral Crush. And this is what this one looks like in the container. And that is what the Coral Crush looks like. 
Okay, so some tidbits about these blushes. They retail for $7, at least at Target, which is where I purchased mine from. There are eight shades with the most vibrant being very well. And what appears to be the most, I guess, toned down or neutral shade, Dusty Rose um, or Dusty Rose. And they state that um, some of the highlights are a long lasting liquid blush that delivers a high pigmented pop of color to cheeks, very lightweight formula with a soft dewy finish, blendable and buildable to create the look you want, easy to use rounded grooved applicator, pairs well with the e.l.f. liquid blush brush. Of course, we know e.l.f. is a vegan and 100% cruelty free brand. So let's get into it. I am thinking for this look, I'm going to use, which shade is this again? Suave Mauve. All right, guys, let's see. Especially since I have on all of these powders and whatnot, let's see how well I can get it to show up. I'm going to start with two dots. And this is not a e.l.f. blush brush. This is a Eco Tools blush brush. Okay, so since they did say it's blendable and buildable, I'm going to build up. I kind of figured after all of these um, powders that I have on that I would have to go a little bit heavy to get it to show the way I want it to, but it's very pretty, that I will say. I, I can see it, it's kind of subtle you know, it depends on your shade preference and exactly what is it that you're looking for in terms of a color payoff or the brightness, the intensity of the actual um, blush itself. I do have some blushes that are very much so out there and they you can definitely tell that I'm wearing blush. And then I have those that I prefer to be subtle, um, which is why I did pick this particular shade on purpose. Yeah, now in terms of it being dewy, especially if you have everything else matte, um, I could see myself applying, even if it's a very light layer of a, a translucent powder just on top, so that you still get the color payoff, but maybe not the dewiness from it. Um, you know, unless that's kind of the contrast that you're going for. So what I'm using now to bring down just the intensity of the um, dewiness from the finish of this blush is a bit of the Peach Pie Setting Powder. not trying to take away from the color itself, but again, just bring down, just kind of tone down some of the dewiness. If I have everything else on and it's matte, and then to have this very drastic contrast between all of the mattes and then these juicy, just dewy cheeks, not the look I was going for this evening. So, Thank goodness for the peach pie setting powder because it did help to tone it down just where I needed it to be. We're going to move on to our lip. All right, so going in using a brown lip liner. This is by MAC Cosmetic um, in the shade Chestnut, of course. Just going to line my lips. And to fill in my lips, I'm going to use by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is her Lip Velvet Liquid Lipstick. 
and this one is in the shade pure hollywood which is listed as a pale mauve nude um this one retails for 24 dollars even and it comes in six shades we have color crush which is a soft beige peach amber which is a deep warm peach parchment which is a peachy brown pure hollywood the one that i purchased which is a pale mauve nude we have peachy nude which is a light peachy nude and then lastly kiss which is a rose petal pink okay so this one it states it's a velvet smooth lip mousse with weightless full pigment true matte color cushioned comfortable wear and a smoothing lip finish so we're going to apply this on top of our lip liner i feel like anastasia beverly hills can do a matte lip like no other the only other brand that comes close honestly um in my opinion especially a liquid matte has been Huda Beauty. Okay, let's kind of blend this in. All right guys, so this is the final look. Off camera, I applied some Lily Lashes and where we left off was me applying the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Velvet in Pure Hollywood. My battery died. I know. So impressions of this particular lip product. Um, it is very silky, very smooth. It's a very velvety powder. Um, yeah. It kind of reminds me of the texture of the back in the day. If you guys remember, I believe it was by Maybelline. They had brought out like a mousse foundation. That's kind of the vibe that this is giving me upon application. I will say the color, like the range of colors in person, because I did see them at Sephora, they kind of worried me a little bit just because I didn't feel like there was any particular color that was kind of deep enough that we did not have to um, kind of manipulate it using like a lot of brown liners. Sorry girls, even with the ones that they suggest are like a deep color, such as I believe it was like a deep peach or a deep amber shade. Even for those, yes, the dark brown lip liner is a must, but I do feel like when you apply the lip liner and then you use the lip velvet more or less as like an accent, then you can make some very beautiful lip, you know, shades out of it. Now, on to my opinion about the e.l.f. Um, liquid blushes. I think these are fun. I think when the time is appropriate, when the face that you're doing is appropriate, that these would serve justice for the look. I felt like the peach pie setting powder came in in a clutch to kind of tone down the dewiness and the shine of, you know, the blush. So that is an option if you're really digging like the shades, but maybe not so much the dewy kind of glowy look that this particular liquid blush gives. Then as stated before, you could always opt to kind of, you know, dry it down a bit using like a translucent setting powder. But again, that's just my opinion. So thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, in the description box below, there will be a full list of all products used to achieve this look. Guys, be well, stay safe, exercise, self-care. It is not a privilege, but yet a necessity. Check on your strong friends after you check in with yourself. And until next time, guys, we shall chat again soon.